uh, behind these I'm doing, we're doing a CSF manifold and then CSF heat changer. We'll get it done relatively quick here. Another crazy upgrade on this car are the OEM CSL seats. Comment down below if you guys know how much these are. Anthony, work here at Sweet Arts I'm one of the techs. We have INDs M2 in, doing a CSF manifold and then CSF heat exchanger. Get it done relatively quick here. And then, um, yeah, let's make it cleaner. Here she is. Alright guys, so Anthony finished up the install of the CSF billet one piece aluminum manifold and as well the front heat exchanger. So before uh, the guys come to pick this up, uh, they're, they're going to be picking up the M2 and also IND's M4. Wanted to do a quick peek over the car and that way if you guys haven't had the chance or opportunity to see this car in person, we can give you some more uh, close up looks at it. But starting off, I think the most unique feature of the car that you can see from the front and from the side is the fender. And uh, I'm going to start with the fender. Even, what every, even though everybody talks about the wing because I really love how Alpha N made this a full replacement and it's carbon fiber but, but mainly the fact that it's fully functional. So not only were they able to place the vent in a nice area, it's also a place where it will actually function to relieve the air pressure in the wheel well. And on top of that, just in perfect Alpha N style, it's finished off very nicely with a nice 3D printed inside piece. So if you look down inside this fender, it's not just an exposed cut or exposed chassis or plastics. It's got a nice 3D printed cup shape uh, to help with that arrow. And then obviously, you, you know, from the side, you get this 992 GT3 RS style uh, vertical fin. But yeah, moving back now to the wing, this is like definitely an homage to the E36 PTG style wing. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen it in the pictures, but the wing uh, looks like it's just this top piece, but they've added this very nice touch of a duck bill at the bottom as well. So I think the square look of the wing, some people like it, some people don't. I think it works on this car because the car overall is a squarish kind of car which I think is an homage back to the E30 M3. I think this is the modern day E30 M3 uh, just because it's a two door. It's a lot smaller than all the other models that BMW have right now, like the G82. Anyway, let's go take a look under the hood. Actually, before that, 
how could I forget? Another crazy upgrade on this car are the OEM CSL seats. Comment down below if you guys know how much these are and would you do it on your G or any other car? This may be a little bit controversial, but I don't know if I'd pay that much for the OEM CSL seats. And I only say that because the factory carbon bucket upgrade is already such a good seat. Is this seat that much different besides the fact that it says CSL? But yeah, this is actually more comfortable than the factory carbon buckets um, having had the chance to sit in these. So real quick too, before we move on to the engine bay, just want to make sure everyone knows this is not our roll cage. Our G87 M2 roll cage is still in uh, development. So hopefully we'll be getting it uh, out to some people and some new cars pretty soon here. And then besides that, I mean, you flow into the hood, everything just kind of ties together really well on this car. So Alpha N did a great job, not only with the fender, but the CS style hood for the G87. So uh, this placement of where the vent is at is right over the cooling area that's needed for the cartridge. But yeah, anyway, let's go take a look under the hood. But yeah, I mean, as soon as you open the engine bay, it's just a, a plethora of carbon, which is, it's just, it's very striking. So this car has the full suite of inventory upgrade parts, the intake, the uh, cooling plate, the engine cover, ECU cover. And uh, luckily ID was nice enough to pre-cut this engine cover specifically for their build. Uh, that way the CSF manifold can be seen underneath. The, obviously it's such a nice billet aluminum piece. Uh, why cover it up? I mean, besides the wheels, guys, uh, these amazingly fitted BBS E89s. Comment down below what else you guys like about this car and uh, we'll be interested to see. If you guys wanna see this car in person, it will be at CSF headquarters in Rancho Cucamonga this Saturday, being displayed along with their G82 M4. And uh, we'll be out there as well with a few of our cars. So yeah, the guy should be here any minute to pick up the cars, but uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, and it helps us out a lot if you hit, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you guys have any questions, hit us up anytime. Thanks guys.